Now, it's been six months since I've been here to announce the... Oh. Oh. <laughs> heck. The business breakfast was well advanced when the grim-faced attacker dished up what he thought was a just dessert. Qantas CEO Alan Joyce and 600 guests stunned as the cream pie was plastered with clinical precision. I might take a break for a second, guys, and just clean up a little bit, and I'll come back. I'm not a big pie eater. I didn't have a chance to test it. I think it was mostly on my, it was mostly on my glasses. I think my issue is that I need a good dry cleaner before I leave Perth. Security rushed in, but too late to prevent the alarming breach. Totally out of order. And I'd have to say that as a professional, he excelled. Uh, we all thought it was a movie going on or someone playing a prank, but uh, Alan was fantastic and I think that uh, all credit to him. Within minutes, a heavy police presence across Perth's luxury Hyatt Hotel. Mr Joyce still managing to deliver his keynote address on new direct flights to London taking off next year. The motive remains a mystery. While he's now praised for Qantas's financial turnaround, Alan Joyce did oversee the sacking of 5,000 workers in 2014. We're going into pure speculation here. I think the police need to, uh, to investigate this. Security tight two hours later as he launched construction of a $14 million international airport wing to accommodate Perth London passengers. Meanwhile, questions are now being asked about how it was easy as pie to ambush a corporate high flyer. Uh, security is important. Uh, that person could have done anything. Uh, and I just urge people not to think that sort of behaviour is normal. The Hyatt's understood to be reviewing security. Nick Way, 10 Eyewitness News.